So the next report that we'll do is a, a cost and quantity variance report. Um, quite valuable if you want to see what the differences are between a version 1 and a version 2 uh, of your, your project plans. Uh, as you know, you can create versions uh, in the cost planner uh, by uh, saving a version. And um, you can see the versions that exist in your project by clicking the, the Manage Versions function. Uh, all those versions are available uh, in the report uh, by using parameters. So that's what we use. It's a variable. Uh, you can uh, select which version you want to include uh, in the report dynamically. The conditional formatting uh, will be used again, and uh, the report will include assemblies and components. We'll start by defining parameters, and parameters are variables that you put in uh, as soon as you uh, select to generate the report. Uh, so the variables that are hard-coded in the report, ed uh, report editor are X cost version 1 and X cost version 2, which stands for the cost version 1 and cost version 2. And we also have to make sure that the report type is set correctly to a report type 1. This is the template or what the template will look like as soon as we're done. So fairly simple, but quite valuable data, I think. Right, so let's go ahead and again duplicate the report. So this is going to be number four, the uh, cost and quantity variance report. And I right click and edit that. Let's maximize the formula editor. The first thing I want to do is make some more space. Uh, so this was a portrait report. Uh, I want to make this report uh, landscape so I get enough space uh, to show all the, uh, uh, the columns. Uh, so if you select the custom report in the report explorer, uh, there is going to be an orientation or a landscape option. Uh, let's make this a little bit larger. Landscape is by default set to no. I'll change that to yes. And uh, you'll see that the width is now larger. I'm going to move this over to this to the site and change the title of the report to a uh, variance report. And the columns that I want to see uh, are uh, code, description, I have those, and then a quantity version 1, price version 1, quantity version 2. Uh, price version 2 and then quantity and price differences. Uh, so that is uh, eight columns. One, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more. So let's expand that and I'm going to insert column to the right and another column to the right like that. I'll delete this band completely. I don't need that anymore. Uh, so this is going to be quantity version 1. This is going to be price version 1, quantity version 2, and price version 2. And then we'll have a difference, quantity difference, and a price difference. OK. I need to fiddle a little bit with the column widths, but that's trial and error. I can make the cells the same sizes as well uh, by using this function. Make the same height, make the same width. That's an easy one. Um, now I am going to insert a new detailed report, which is um, cost variances. So that allows me to iterate through the collection of uh, cost variances once I'm, I'm ready to uh, generate the report. Before we do that, I want to go into the Report Explorer and create the parameters that, uh, that we talked about. So in order to do that, uh, we'll um, add the first parameter. Actually, let's add them all. I need three. And then I right click and say Edit Parameters. Uh, the first parameter is going to be called Next Cost Version one. And let's add a description. Let's call that left version. 
The next one is going to be X cost version two. And the description in the prompt is going to be right version. And the third one that we need for this report is a report type. And that needs to be an integer. And the value needs to be one. And I don't want that to be visible. I don't want to be prompted about input for that. OK. Function of that we'll see in a moment. Now let's create the content. Um, I want to uh, copy this over into the detail bed so that it is the same. It's a quick start. And I want to remove the background color and change the size. So the information we want to use is from the cost variances. So I'm dragging from the cost variances category a code and the description. And then we want to look at the quantity of version 1. So I'm opening cost version 1. And we have the quantity property in here. And then the price version 1 over here. Then we look at cost version 2 with the quantity and price for version 2. And then the quantity differences, that is going to be quantity variance and price variance over here. The conditional formatting rules are still in here, but we need to modify them in order to make them work with, uh, with this report. And the reason is that they were looking at the components and what we're working right with right now is the cost variances. So for each of the formatting rules, I'm going in and change that to cost variances. So that way, the right information is going to be read uh, when the report is generated and the formatting needs to be determined. Okay, we can make that a little bit smaller as well if needed. So maybe we want to make that 12. And I want to make this 11. 3 is going to be 10. And then this is going to be 9. Okay, and then I apply all of that to the code. And I go through the same exercise as what I did before, applying these rules to each of the cells. Okay. Quantity as well. Price version 2. Quantity variance, which probably is a little bit too wide. We'll change the width in a moment. And the price variance. Okay. We probably want to make this a little bit smaller. Give a little bit more space to the price and quantity here. Okay. The last thing we want to do is uh, set the correct format string. Uh, so I'm choosing this format string. I can also just copy that. So I'm using control C and then when I open this I'm just pasting that into the cell. That speeds up that work a little bit. All the same format string. Okay, then last thing we want to do is make the band a little bit smaller so that it there's no space in between. Okay, we want to save the report and then hit the print preview. And this is where the parameters show. 
Uh, so these are my report variables. I can now select the left version, which is going to be third version. I, I created that in the, uh, in the cost planner, and the right version, which is version four. As soon as I submit, uh, that information is collected. And now you can see a, a full variance report with the quantities and price of version one, quantities and price of version two, as well as the variance. And as you can see, I modify the quantity for the concrete miscellaneous labor. Uh, the quantity difference is 1400 and the price difference is 455. So that's why in the project level, we see 455, uh, but the quantities are still zero. The quantity variance for the other assemblies and components. Of course, you can add additional data. If you want to see the variance in the unit price, you just add a calculated value and, and use those calculated values to uh, include even more information in that variance report.